Kirkwood in trouble in the backfield, and he's buried Pete Heitzman during this possession for Minnesota. He's been injured most of the week. Third and nine. The ball is loose on the field, and it's covered up by Minnesota. And the safety, he doesn't do it. Watch, he's going to look the other way. There's no feel of Kovacs coming from the backside. And that's what you would pick up in the pre-snap. Fourth down and short. Kirkwood's carry. It's going to be very close. I'm not sure he got there. The only thing I would say to this, Kevin, on the play call, and I know Kirkwood is a big physical back, but when he's four yards backed up. Second and ten from the 22-yard line. Toss play, Rawls. Rawls with the corner, and Rawls with a first down for Michigan. Keenan Cooper finally caught him, and Rawls able to get to the corner and pick up a good gain to the 34. Well, it's that old flip 90. It's a misdirection. He gets outside on the perimeter now. He's not fleet of foot by any stretch, but a good downhill play. Third and 17 from the 45. Gardner. Nobody open. Gardner. Dancing for extra time. Airing it deep. by Gardner. Watch the field. He moves up. Nothing there. Slides to his right. But nothing there. So he comes all the way around which buys time for his receiver to get loose in the back of the end zone. The 31. Williams. And Williams upended as he tried to turn the corner by Jake Ryan. Third down and 10. Nelson 4 for 7. 42 yards in the touchdown. On third down. And that one tipped and knocked away. Tremendous defensive play by J.T. Floyd. Just laying out to knock that ball away, and it's fourth down. It's good transition by Floyd, meaning coming out of his break. But this is a long throw, and you see the flight time of the ball. First down and 11 from the nine-yard line. Gardner in trouble in the end zone. Got rid of it, and it's complete to Roundtree at the 25-yard line. Devin Gardner <laughs> seconds away from a safety instead with a first down Mel Market at the 26. And what were you saying about that field position on Mr. Gardner? He says no worries. Watch how he gathers himself in the pocket, stands up tall and delivers a strike. Understanding where he is on the field. Gardner under pressure again. And the pass over the middle, and it is caught. A sliding catch by Gerald Robinson. Just his fifth catch of the year. But he had a screaming post wide open in the center of the field. But he couldn't get to it because of the pressure by Wilhite. Third down and six. Gardner under pressure. Got away. Gardner with a first down for Michigan. And still out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. Just a tremendous run by Devin Gardner, and I loved at the end, Chris, he could have gone out of bounds, but he tiptoed down the sideline for about six more. But just watch the improv. See, that's just feel. That's understanding that you're getting a reduced pocket, and now he gets outside, and he allows his athleticism to take over. From the two-yard line for Michigan, Rawls the carry, and Rawls reaching across for the touchdown. One thing Rawls can do is pound the football. He gets squared up, extends, gets the ball over. Nelson changing things up a bit on third down and a yard. Kirkwood the carry, and Kirkwood's not going to get it to push better than this. Well, because you got these two big guys inside. Look how low they get. They're big men, but they play low. That's outstanding. Get underneath the pads of the offensive line. Kirkwood. And there's Ryan. No pitch to worry about that time, and he throws him for a loss. Might be a nice birthday present. Second and 11 from the 14. On the reverse. Ray trying to find... For me, we have to try to find some running room, and he's down to the 20-yard line. Loss on the play, Jake Ryan. Cute. I mean, there's no reason. We're going to see Ryan come up here and wall off things, but there's no reason to be cute here. 
You know, you talked about taking a shot. Watch how he fights down the line. Look at that. I mean, that is athleticism. So now a field goal try, and it's a fake, and they toss it out to Nelson, and Nelson's going to be well short of the first down. It was just doomed from the start. Eldred got up through See, the pass. Ugh. And it's just hemmed up against the sideline. First down and 10. Play action. Gardner looking deep. He's got Gallon open. And Gallon's all the way down to the 20 yard line. Brock Perrine with the tackle, but Gallon got behind the defense, and Michigan with a gigantic play. Folks, this is the best play you've seen today because they got a corner blitz. Gallon knew it. And so he ran a double move, a slant and go, working in harmony with his quarterback, who also saw it. The top of your screen, Gardner looking down for Gallon in the end zone, leaping up. Gallon, does he make the catch? He does, it's a touchdown. In the corner of the end zone, let's watch it again. He goes up and gets it. And a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. And here's the ruling. After further review, the ruling on the field of a touchdown is confirmed. Yeah, and, yeah, and I agree. Bait. Up the middle. Not a lot of running room for Kirkwood. Kenny Demons fills the hole quickly. Minnesota trying to march one in. Nelson on the keep, and he's not going to get away from Jake Ryan. He's played another great game today, has Ryan, and he throws Nelson for a one-yard loss. Just discipline. Makes an athletic play. He sees the option coming to him side, play side. He doesn't jump outside. And across from Engel. Oh, getting me easier. Nelson to throw over the middle. It's deflected and almost intercepted. And watch how he just reads Nelson's eyes and then makes the break on the ball. Should have picked it. It's Denard Robinson impersonation on the field right now for Michigan. On first down, on the sweep, Gallon trying to find some additional running room, and Gallon with a first down. Third and five, Gardner eludes the pressure, throwing on the run, and a great catch by Dilio at midfield. Falls outside of his frame. So what I mean by that, watch how he goes up and gets it. And that allows for your quarterback to have a wider target. From midfield on first down, play action, Gardner. Gonna throw, looking downfield, and it is caught inside the five at the two-yard line. They're calling it a catch, and a great play by Roundtree. Roundtree able to make the grab. That's what you call working for your quarterback. Play action. Gardner chased. Gardner running, and Gardner. as he gets six more for Michigan. And extend. Good job of paying it off with Gardner. See, look at the effort and the length to reach out. You get a chance here on first and goal from the two. Play action. Nelson's going to keep it. And Nelson's going to be stopped well short. Terrifically defended by Raymond Taylor. Who Those run to the space. Go the other direction where you have the field. You know, instead of running that into the boundary where it was coming from. Fourth down and short. Toussaint the carry again. And a first down and more as Toussaint breaks free. And he's into the clear for the touchdown. When I say he's a straight line guy, this is what I mean. Look, he gets down in the traffic. Good balance here. Put the hand down. Not a whole lot of moves, but explosive straight ahead. Second down. Glass outside. The ball knocked loose. Scooped up by Michigan. And out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Hit laid on May to start this off. Yeah, good job of getting the hand in there to swipe the ball out. After Michigan recovered, first down Michigan. To the 32-yard line, and that is it. And the little brown jug is staying in Ann Arbor. That's it from Minneapolis. Our final score, Michigan 35, Minnesota 13.